In this video, we'll talk about strategic execution, part two. Now, communication, as mentioned before, kind of falls in both the planning as well as the action phase of the process. So let's stick to calling it a parallel between the two. Once your strategy has been implemented and put into action, it's now time to track its progress and keep close tabs on how well it's performing. Tracking progress. Integral to making sure that execution stays on track, it's important to keep a close eye on results. This means that having a goal isn't enough by itself. You also need to have some system of tracking your movement towards that target. In the absence of a frequent reminder of how you're doing, there's no way for you to know if the actions you take are working or not. On the business front, since there's a whole team of people involved, entrepreneurs need to develop key indicators of performance that are measurable and monitored on a continuous basis. This will allow the executives to evaluate what's working and pursue these processes to enhance and promote performance. With declining results, businesses should decide what processes don't work and to make changes to prevent any further deterioration. This point should also take task delegation into account. This means assigning the right job to the right person. Remember how hiring the wrong person for the job could bring down a perfectly good strategy? Well, this is what you want to avoid. Being mindful of a project, meeting individual and team deadlines is crucial to continuously move a project forward. This can include sharing regular updates, which ensures that everyone on the team has a comprehensive understanding of the progress and how everyone's input fits into the whole. Even in non-business scenarios, tracking is essential for achieving goals. For instance, tracking progress helps everyone stay focused. A lot of people, not unlike businesses, fail to accomplish their goals not only because they don't possess the skills, but because they lose track of what they want to achieve. Businesses, on the other hand, may have the correct strategy that can bungle up due to the various reasons already mentioned earlier. Another consideration for tracking progress is that if you don't track, you may end up focusing more on failures. It's natural for people to focus more on the negative side of things, so even after accomplishing something, a mishap may make you forget the earlier accomplishment. How many people have you known who have tried losing weight but then gained it all back again and some more because they got derailed from their initial diet plan for some reason? Why even think about other people when this may have happened to yourself? Likewise, business scenarios demand that all progress and setbacks be recorded vigilantly to weed out the mistakes from the accomplishments. In a strictly entrepreneurial sense, tracking progress makes breaking bigger tasks into smaller steps much easier. A big presentation due in less than a week when broken down into smaller tasks such as research, task delegation, data analysis, and choosing the medium for the presentation makes the strategic goals so much more attainable, realistic, and less overwhelming. Measuring Progress in Business Looking at bottom line results in areas such as spending, sales, or profits does not help understand how or why you reach those figures or how to improve performance. One of the biggest benefits of measuring performance is that you identify areas where you may be struggling. If you have a master budget, conducting a monthly analysis will show you where your results do not meet your projections. Tracking may just be what you need to realize that your projections might have been too optimistic and that the performance did not live up to its expectation. Such measurements can help you pinpoint your weaknesses while letting you put checks where needed or take other measures to support your business. On the other hand, tracking your sales, production, marketing, and labor use helps you identify which aspects of your organization are doing well and which others need more attention. With tracking, employees are also able to see the progress the company makes. As such, they may experience higher job satisfaction. Likewise, if they can see that their unit is struggling, then they might be motivated to work harder. So, measuring results based on goals set for all employees and communicating the same to the staff on a scheduled basis helps keep the team motivated to do well whether they are surpassing these goals or struggling. Accountability to understand the importance of accountability, here's an example. Take a group of basketball players and put them on their own in a friendly match. 
As there is no one watching and no one keeping score, you may well find that all sense and cohesion goes out the window. The center is up front and the small forward is off in the distance. The shooting guard is found chatting with the spectators. Now, bring in a referee onto the court who starts keeping score visibly. As most people would expect, the dynamics of the game will change instantly. Players would start playing positions they were assigned because now they are actually trying to perform well to win. The simple act of being observed and being held accountable has made all the difference. It's no different in the workplace setting. While holding people accountable certainly helps the business, it is only when accountability is made visible that the real results are delivered. As per the example, accountability was vaguely there with each player knowing their position and role, but it took a crowd of onlookers and a referee for them to start aiming for success in those roles. Employees at a business are much the same. With roles defined correctly, they will know what they need to do to succeed, but if their success is not marked or if the metrics are not visible or relevant, then accountability loses its impact. When accountability is confusing or misapplied, consequences get watered down or never occur and people often miss the connection between results and recognition. Instead, reporting results to each other and holding each other accountable for achieving goals are key to successful execution. Sticking to these basics, some may sound redundant but need emphasis at this stage. While holding your team accountable during the execution process, discuss and set up expectations. Clearly articulating expectation is not only mandatory but crucial to the organization's success in setting up accountability. Think about the basketball players from the previous example. Knowing their position and role in the game holds them accountable for any mistakes or gains made in their area. Look for input. Looking for input engages team members in achieving goals. It gives them a chance to determine what works and establishes a vivid understanding of expectations. Actively coach the team. Accountability and coaching go hand in hand. You need to know of any issues that arise to keep your team mindful and answerable to any action that they take. Hold regular strategy reviews. Such strategy reviews, or call it communication, is important to holding the team liable during the execution phase. As each step of the way is reviewed, everyone's performance becomes obvious and can give you a fairly predictable heads up on the progress of your strategy execution. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.